The opinions expressed in this program are solely those of the participants and not necessarily those of 31 UHF. This program deals with controversial topics discussed in a sometimes highly charged atmosphere. It may not be suitable for all family members. Viewer discretion is advised. Eight months have been very interesting to say the least. I took the job with NSC as an ordinary seaman and started traveling after training on my first ship. This venture lasted from May 26, October 3, 2021. I got off the ship the Austin's Robert E. Peary in Rota, Spain and headed home. It has taken a week to get home due to the circumstances of how I left the USA back in July on the vessel. I had to leave my car in Norfolk after bringing it back to there after a small break I took in late June 2021 to see my boat and family. After leaving in February I hadn't laid eyes on my boat since rushing out right before the freeze that shook Houston Valentine's weekend. As is the normal for these adventures, I took too much stuff on board the ship and when I found out I was being relieved, I had to ship two boxes of belongings back to the USA. Thankfully Rota has a US Navy base and therefore a US post office, so shipping was relatively painless. The journey was quite extraordinary. I caught the ship as it was finishing dry docking in Philadelphia and therefore had a great time exploring some of Philly, having a cheese steak, and just settling in on the boat. From there we went back to Norfolk, did some sea trials and a couple of us reps out to sea locally, but was for the most part on the Navy here, doing shore duty. We actually crossed the Atlantic on July 23rd and from that crossing visited Scotland twice, France, Spain twice, Norway twice, and didn't rips along the way. The mission continues, but I was relieved and therefore did not continue on with the vessel. It was a good experience and I would have been able to stay on the ship if I had not put in for relief. Relief means that after four months you ask for a replacement for you so you can go home for a month of vacation. I needed this, and have other desires to fulfill during my off time, such as this journey back to Houston by e-bike on my e-cell Super Monarch 1500, to get into ad school, and to get LASIK so I can try out for the SRS Surface Rescue Swimmer program. So here I sit at the airport here in Houston awaiting my plane to board at 0955 to take me to my bicycle and to visit my loved ones as well as check in with the program of Ado. God has been very good to me and I am eternally grateful for his love, mercy, compassion, and protection these last seven months. I fully expect he will continue on this journey and I look forward to seeing how he is going to move on my behalf these next days as we trek back to Houston and beyond. So far we have traveled about 300 miles and as of the reading of 10-19-21 we will be in New Mexico. We are staying at a hostel today and I am looking forward to saving a few bucks and still having my needs met. I am not opposed to camping, but would be great if I didn't have to. At any rate, we are having a great time. 
I left Scottsdale on 10 15th and so far the bike has met all my expectations. I twist the throttle it goes, I pedal assist it moves. It has made the trip much more enjoyable than in 2012. Although I am still doing a lot of work, and pulling the trailer is not a lot of fun. I don't know another way though, and still having everything I would need to repair and fix on the go. The gears are working great, the motor seem to be able to handle the work, and the dual motor action is something really spectacular. I would like to see a little bit better range, but we are still in mountain region and therefore getting 75 to 90 miles is a good accomplishment in pedal assist for all day. I have stopped for lunch on two of the three days and charged for about an hour. On Sunday I did this and really shouldn't have. Because of that stop I ended up with about 50 stickers in my trailer tires and about 20 in my bike tires. The bike tires have the tonus liner so that is great. But both my trailer tires went flat and required me to change them before proceeding on to the hotel. I didn't need to charge and should not have stopped at that rest area. I had a check in my spirit about it, but I did it anyway and paid a heavy price. Nevertheless, for fun I decided since I had so much charge left I throttled the last 10 miles to the hotel going about 20 something miles an hour. That is spectacular when you consider I am pulling a trailer behind me that weighs at least 100 pounds. So great. Thank you HLScom for the great experience. I highly recommend you get one as soon as possible. Call David Cleveland today and tell him Christopher sent you. So much has happened over the last 19 days that a book could and hopefully will be written. In it I will parallel my trip across America on a single speed bike pulling a trailer compared with pulling a trailer with a powerful and funny bike. More to come on that later. For now I want to focus on just highlighting the journey so far and later we'll go back and explore each individual leg of the journey in the blog. So as you can see here is a Google map picture of where I have been, and where I am now. Go to slash 04 slash 21 started in Parump, Nevada. Go to slash 05 slash 21 left Parump to Boulder City. Nevada spent an extra day there riding the Hoover Dam. Go to slash 07 slash 21 Kingman Arizona Holiday Inn, Sonic Burger, and rest. Go to slash 08 slash 02 slash 09 slash 21 Wicker Up, and Wickenburg, Arizona a long trip. I rode all afternoon and night from Kingman was a great trip, but a scary, going through Joshua Tree Forest thick sticker bush all over the ground, heavily littered side roads with wood, nails, and blown out semi-tires, mountains, canyons, and seeing and hearing wild coyote. Go to slash 10 slash 21 Scottsdale, Arizona. Had to stop temporarily because I got the call to join the MSC and that job I had been waiting to hear from for a long time and it was a now or never situation. 214 slash 21 10 slash 04 slash 21 went through training, got credentialed, went on my first deployment overseas, and after four months was relieved which is how it works with MSC. 10 12 10 slash 15 slash 21 flew back to Arizona got my bike out of storage and visited my parents and sister a few more days and then pulled out on the finish of the journey. Rode to Eloy, Arizona that day. 10 16 slash 21 Eloy to Tucson, Arizona. 10 17 slash 21 Wilcox, Arizona stayed two days there, regrouping and resulting. 10 19 slash 21 Rode to Chiricahua, Desert Museum on Portal Road in Rodeo, New Mexico. Long day, with 20 plus miles of rock and run off road, and when I stopped to relieve myself was met with these huge hornets the size of my fingers. Needless to say so nice cars abandoned as well what a terrible way for Google to root people nevertheless. The Ecel Super Monarch 1500 handled it like a champion. 
1020-21 to Columbus, N.A. man stayed at the coolest hotel run by a man and his ex-wife called Los Milagros of Miracles, 1021-21 road to El Paso, Pasfield, El Paso, stayed at Fort Bliss two nights at Raising Canes every day, resupplied at the commissary. 1024-21 road to Sierra Blanca, stayed in a motel and was grateful for it. Owner gave me a nice mason jar for heating up water in the microwave for coffee. 1025-21 road to Balmoria, Texas, stayed on an RV campground. $10 but the lady Lou didn't want to take any money from me. Those goat heads struck again however not on the bike tire, just the trailer tire replaced both tires and tubes. 1026-21 slow start but I knew I was headed for civilization and was so happy to get to the Hotel Holiday in FT, Stockton, where I parked it for two days. 1028-21 road to Ozona, Texas and enjoyed a good fried steak at the Hitchin Post. 1029-21 road to Junction, Texas and stayed for the night. I love the Holiday Inn. 1030-31-21 road to San Antonio, and was so glad I made it. The bike lost moving power 2.7 miles from my destination, but the lights and computer continued to work all the way to the destination. Holiday in next to FBI headquarters. 11-1-21 off again this time to Gonzalewe Loco, Gonzales, Texas, the place where Texas gained freedom according to the signs I saw. Well, it was nice, and I enjoyed my steak dinner at GG Steakhouse even though it didn't agree with me and kept me up all night. 11-11-3-21 road to Rosenberg, Texas. Here now at Hampton Inn, so wonderful to be so close and almost home. The staff here are amazing and so kind. Stephanie helped me out yesterday at Simple Simon's Pizza by allowing me to eat and charge my battery for an hour. That charge took me the last 20 miles to the hotel here and gave me a 109 mile day. That is important to note being that I was dealing with upset stomach and congestion from the road and previous night's stay in Gonzales so grateful for everyone who has made this trip a success. It is amazing to think how many lives we touch on a daily basis, just going about our day. I think if more people would realize this it would change how little they see themselves and how insignificant they think their lives and jobs really are. We are so important to God and to each other. 1104-21 headed home, 51 miles from the boat. Looking forward to seeing where Google takes me today. May even eat some Cuban food. The journey has been filled with so many good memories, and opens me up to so many new ideas and possibilities. It's amazing how people you love and have loved who may have already gone on to their reward go with you on these type of trips. I saw my grandmothers, uncles, and aunts many times on this journey I in so many different ways. My grandfathers too, of course, my dad and mom, and siblings, and my daughter and grandsons. But they literally are a part of the journey because I am in constant contact with them. But my other family comes along to just in my heart and mind and in the experiences I have along the way that remind me of them. So much can be said about the E-Cells Super Monarch Crown 1500. But most important is the fact that it is a beast. It can handle whatever I threw at it, and it could last a lot longer than I could each day. It just kept going and going. The odd mechanisms and components keep it efficient and smooth, and the dual suspension keeps it so comfortable. I really could have ridden that bike every day to anywhere in the world, so long as my own health and well-being were met. I cannot say that about any other bike or vehicle I have owned in my lifetime. Well, 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 if it isn't Chris Gullu calling you at uh, not 163 degrees, in fact, more like a buck 80. Doing a topical four knot, five knots. Uh, the fastest we've gone so far is 11 knots. 
they're averaging about four. Now look at this right here. Now this is what's interesting to me. That here says elevation minus 11. And this is sitting about five feet up. So what that's telling me is that we're about two feet in the sea, you know, 11 feet, eight feet in the sea. So that means the waves are coming up and we're sitting in the valley at probably between eight and nine feet. Uh, now we're at minus six. And as you can see, I mean, you know, it's other than the waves smashing into the side of the boat and scaring me, you know, when they hit the, the boat a little bit every once in a while, as this one might look like it was going to do. Oh, she passed on by, Gloria Dio. But I'll tell you what, this is, whoa, Bessie Gloria Dio, and everything. Whoo! It's funny how, uh, Certain things don't matter when you're uh, when you're at sea. I'm trying to figure out how to turn this camera around, so I guess we're just going to have to do another bed yet in order to turn the camera lay around. But I'll tell you what, it's funny how certain things like uh, clean glasses and taking time for a nice meal and. Having you a nice little Coca-Cola with a cocoa and an ice and a piece of lime. Those things just don't seem to matter when you're uh, out at sea like this. It's certainly not a cruise for ship, that's for shizzle. Uh, well, let's stop for now and say gloria dio and, um, and how, oh yeah, so you can see now our mainsail is down because it broke this morning. The, rigging on the back of it. The sail itself is going to be all right. It needs a little patch, but uh, it just completely broke off the back of the, the uh, beam there, the back of the transom. It just completely popped, snap, crackle, pop. But we're still sailing fine with this Genoa. And look at little old blue. Where's little old blue? There's a, uh, well, where's little old blue at, actually? I don't know. She's probably on the bed doing where she's not supposed to be. Oh, no, there she is. She's down there. Hey, little boy! She's under the table, boys. Under the table. But she ain't been drinking, but she's probably a little at the table. That seems to be her little spot. She likes that little spot, actually. Um, it ain't the best of spots, in my opinion, but she seems to care much for it. And there's what's uh, left of the kitchen. I'm just kidding, but tell you what, man, we have lost some things. I tell you, funny things, to, things that you stow aren't always stowed, that's for sure. And uh, what you know, Joe, I don't know nothing. The uh, power seems to be holding up quite well, though. As long as I put the generator on at night, we can keep the autopilot on. And we've been riding without autopilot because it does a better job than I can do. Uh, actually so here we go uh, I'm gonna close up now and do a little frontal shot hello hi guys <laughs> hey everybody everybody in the club this is uh, sailor skipper skipper nut right now calling you I, you know you got to wonder sometimes when you're uh, out here it's kind of like running a whoa Nelly it's kind of like running marathons you know you get about halfway into the thing and you just say what possessed you to do something so dumb <laughs> and then of course you pull through it and oh look at that wave good you can't see it ah, and everything probably is good you can't see it um, the sky is not very nice and uh, the weather is not very nice, but we're pulling out of it. It looks like by tomorrow we'll be safe and sound. We're not unsafe now. We're just um, in a scary spot, honestly. It's just not fun to be in this kind of weather. It's just, you know, it's not terrible. It's not hurricane. It's not good. You know, bad things could still happen, but... Uh, you know, they're less likely in this situation. Here comes a wave over. Well, I'll tell you what, if I were a surfer uh, out there, I'd be pretty much loving it if I could catch one of these swells. But they don't really crash, you know. They, I mean, of course they can. They have crashed. They've crashed right on top of this boat today. Um, but they don't generally crash because, you know, even though they're nine foot high, 
they just kind of roll because you're in the rolling seas. You know, I hear the sounds, I hear the rolling thunder. It just kind of rolls over. You know, it's um, it's a it's how great thou art, O God. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings. Let me just take some pictures here of this. Okay, so here we are still on the Clyde. Over there is where the boat's moored. Uh, coming up here, gonna zoom in, zoom in, that's where my boat is, right over there. Can't really see it, but there's uh, two like big buildings where she's sitting up on the hard there. This is where we're gonna head out to pretty soon, but look how beautiful these side mountains are. I mean, how cool is that? I'm staying, we're staying, Blue and I are staying right up there right on the in between those two buildings there where the white van is the car is just now passing at right where we're going to be st right where we're staying and have been for the last week thank you very much bankers for not sending the money properly whatever but that's where we're heading right that way due south almost and everything and there we are, guys and gals and dolls and doos and little panty hoos and everything. That's where we are right now. Here we are. Over there, that big steeple is where I went to church today. Wonderful service. Just came from dinner with the pastor. Amazing man of God. Quite liberal in his undertaking, which I thought was very good and interesting and fun to talk with. He loves the South and he loves the pull yourself up by your bootstraps as well, which I just just really just we just really caught on today. It was just really fun actually. Lots of fun actually. Can't wait to get under sail and everything. I'm gonna take a little brother. This dog has been all over the world. Here she is in Scotland, next to the old Viking. -er -er. And here we are, right on, if it wasn't for the nymphs being so good at building ships, the yards would still be open on the Clyde. And here we are on the Clyde. We're staying right over there. And there's little Blue. Hey, Blue. Hey, Glee. Thought you'd appreciate this, Pops, here, the home of golf, right here. They've got a putting. This whole park is dedicated to putting, actually. And then, of course, it becomes the kiddie park over here. But all of this park here is dedicated to, to putting greens. It's just amazing, actually. Yeah. And you'll be hard to about Scotland and, and Wales and England you're never lacking in beautiful scenery that's for sure you know what it is <laughs>